Today is part two of our flower project. Last week we talked about Van Gogh and his sunflowers, but people have been painting flowers for thousands of years. They painted them in ancient Egypt. These are lotus flowers. People painted flowers as a way to study nature or to practice their painting skills. And over time, everyone has tried painting them in different ways. So your flowers could be very simple and bright like Clementine Hunter, or they could have tons of patterns and designs like this artist, Heather Galler. They could have other things on the table that tell the story like this artist, Florence Stoskopf, or you could hide things inside your art. Check out this one. Do you see something hidden? Oh yeah, it's the artist. Her name is Cecilia Paredes and she likes to paint herself to match her flowers. No matter what you want to do, make your flowers tell a story. Fill up the space in a really cool way. So we are gonna start with our painting from last week. Don't worry if it looks a little messy. If you weren't here, you can get a plain piece of paper and start from scratch. Using an oil pastel, you can clean up your vase a little bit. Use white to add a highlight on one side. You can also use a dark color like black if you want to add a shadow on the other side. You can add a shadow to the table too to make it look like your pot is really sitting on top. Next, let's draw our flowers. Take a light colored oil pastel like white or light blue or something like that and draw at least five circles or ovals. If you're looking at them from the front, they'll be more like circles. If they're from the side, they look more like ovals. Give each one a stem. Begin coloring your flowers using oil pastel. If you're making a sunflower, the insides are usually brown. But try overlapping other colors too, like yellow or white, and it'll look like it's glowing. Next, make your sunflower petals. And if they're a little bit sideways, they'll be look bigger on one side and smaller on the other. Feel free to overlap. That means some flowers might be in front of other flowers. You can finish coloring these with oil pastel, paint, or a combination of both. Make sure to add some white into your colors to make it look like they're really glowing. And once you're done, you can even add some wallpaper or a design to the table if you're in the mood. Vincent Van Gogh liked to write his name on his pot, so feel free to do that if you'd like. 